Hey guys, my name is Ray for the Hero Council. Sup, sup, sup. Welcome to your coffee time. It's Monday. Um, I haven't had my coffee really yet. So, today's topic will be on packs or boxes or singles. Basically, discussion on how should you get your cards. And uh, I'm just going to make two quick mentions because one, there'll be a channel update directly in the description because I know there was no uploads during the weekend and there was supposed to for the Yu-Gi-Oh! Dual Dailies and the two I missed will be coming out this week and the other one is this map. I have no, 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 no plans of playing West Shorts. I gave it a go just just to see, you know, I always do with new card games, I always do. Um, I did it when it came out in Japan, I wasn't super interested but I love Sword Art Online. I saw this mat for a great price and I just picked it up because it's a great mat. I love it. But um, to those of you who play West Swords, more power to you. But we are the Yu Gi Oh! Council, so you're not going to see any of that content here. Sorry. Now, I'm um, just going to put Jaugen here because Jaugen represents one other thing that I'm working on that got screwed up and I have to refilm with the massive filming is cards of the format. If you don't know what that is, that's okay. We're doing that and next to the format, basically we give a countdown on the top like 10 cards in the top 5 decks, so, yeah, just for people who are interested. Okay, should you do singles, boxes, or packs? We do all that on the council, so let's go into the reason why we do that on the council. Um, it's not for reviews. Johnny buys boxes every time a new set comes out. I personally say the hell away. 90% of the time from booster packs and boxes. Once in a while I will do a box, once in a while, like a blue moon. I prefer singles because I just know what I'm getting. I want to get it straight, I want to build the deck, and I'm done. Um, Johnny likes to hunt and after, you know, it's just like the excitement of opening a box. And I can't blame him because, I don't know, I would open a box every single set given the chance, I don't really care for it, like all the singles. I, I think in the future I would um, do it because the, the thing with me about having that many singles is you get a lot of like useless stuff, stuff that you don't want to run. I personally don't run Fire Fist, so if I was to pull out Rooster, I was about to say Chicken, then I would, you know, I would like to move it, you know, get rid of it, sell it, trade it. And that's not something we really do on the council at the moment, but that's something that down the line would would eventually make its way but not like a trade binder every single day maybe like once per two weeks and then it'll be updated by annotations so along those lines so i prefer singles just for that fact um boxes you, as long as you can get it for a good price you know, they're fun to watch to be open. Like, look what I pulled out of the box. I got Drago Sag, or I got number 66. Singles, it's like, hey, you got that? Yeah, I got that. I sold it to the card shop. I don't, I don't really care. That's how. That's my attitude towards it, you know? Like, I'm the guy that says, I don't care. It's mine now. <laughs> that's just on that way. Um, packs, this one I haven't really gone over in a sec. Um, the packs, let's see what the packs. Um, they're also fun, just like the boxes. They're just a cheaper method than boxes. Um, of course, when you go to regionals or certain tournaments, you're going to get packs, but that's not what we're referring to. We're talking about like actually physically buying it. Do you buy your packs? Do you buy your boxes? Do you buy your singles? I buy singles. Um, once in a while, I'll buy packs because it's just cheap, fun. You know, you don't know what you want to pick up. Eh, screw it, buy a pack. You know, excitement. <coughs> Usually, it's kind of weird, um, especially with me. And I know some of my buddies from KT are gonna be like, "Really?" And they're like, "Yeah." It gets a little awkward when they're screaming off their heads, I'm like, "Yeah, I pull dragons out!" Ah! I'm just like, "That's cool. Calm down. Congratulations. You're like, you're breaking the sound barrier." My ears cannot handle that because I, I have very sensitive hearing on one side of the ear, like on the right side of my ears. There's a reason for that, but I'm not going to go into it. But, um, so, <clears throat> Jaguin's just there to give you something to look at, by the way. Not to sound that way or 
do the uh, do the discussion. Um, no, but I don't have no biased feelings towards single singles boxes or packs. They're all fun to do. Um, sometimes packs are just ridiculous, and I'm gonna say it, and we get hated on for it. The Judgment Light Monster Box, thirty bucks. I rather have special editions. Um, I, I played Magic the Gathering. I bought those boxes back in the day. I still keep up on Magic the Gathering and Pokemon because, well, Pokemon is just because of most of the games, so it's easy for me to understand the card game. And Magic, it's just I really like the artwork on Magic, and I have the utmost respect for Magic because I played it when I was really young and got into card games because of it. So I have the utmost respect for Magic the Gathering. But Coming from Magic the Gathering, you would always buy packs over singles. And there's a reason for that. Magic the Gathering, and if you look, like, you look at people's videos of Magic the Gathering, there's, um, like, uh, the Magic Show, which is, they talk about Magic the Gathering. And that's something I, once in a while, I just, you know, pop in to take a look. But there's, like, $400 single cards. Like, one card is 400 bucks. And I'm like, really? And that brings me not just to Yu-Gi-Oh, but to every card game is that they have like ridiculous prices. Pokemon, I think the the highest we had was 120. That's the highest I remember. Yu-Gi-Oh, the highest has been 1500 with the YCS cards, and that's I I, I know I'm probably gonna get flagged for this. That's understandable because you have to win a tournament to get that. But something like Crush Card at 1500, uh, 1500. Crush card was 300, my apologies. And Dark Arm around like 250, 300, sometimes 350, that was nuts. And it's just like, when I see Drago Sack for like, when he first came out, right now it's starting to drop into that like 50, no, $65 range, hopefully it'll drop down to 40. If it drops down to 40, that's okay. That's, that's what we call a budgeted secret rare. Like if you have the 40 bucks, and it's not gonna hurt you, it's okay to pick them up, simple as that. Um, no, but it just coming from that magic the gathering kind of thing, packs are always my best friends compared to it. But the thing with magic and Yu-Gi-Oh! and Vanguard and West Swords and Pokemon, they're all different styles of how their packs work. And when I go to KT and when I'm talking to people and stuff, I see them buying packs left and right. So Trust me when I say that, yeah, you may think that singles are the only way, not everyone does. Some people like the excitement of opening the pack and as god awful as this is going to sound, they like the smell of new Yu-Gi-Oh cards, they like the smell of new Vanguard or West Swords or, or Pokemon or Magic Gathering. I'm trying to not leave anything out regardless if I don't play it or not. And there were some silly card games. I'm looking at you, Chaotic. I'm looking at you. I'm not even going to bother with the Harry Potter train card game because that was just dumb. But I'm getting off track. So pretty much to round it off, PAX, I think it's great for fun. You know, I don't think it's great to get everything that you need. They're, like when I say they're great for fun, sneak peeks are probably like the only time I say, yeah, sure, let's do PAX. Um, new set releases, same thing. Boxes, if the entire set's worth it. Judgment and Light, I feel, is really not. I think it's just kind of overhyped. If you look at the set prices, they're not too high right now. So, eh, you're going to do what you want, but boxes for Judgment and Light, I think it would be pretty nifty to watch. The rarities, when it comes to getting the hollows out of boxes, it's going to be hard to get three of everything if that's what you're after or three of a certain thing. But I think you're going to get, pull out great stuff regardless because the rarities are just freaking set so perfectly. But I still believe on that, like, it should be two secret rares and, and then packs would be a hell of a lot better open. Um, for singles, like I said, if stuff is cheap, great. I love singles. If the stuff is expensive, I'll wait on it. I don't really care. But I know a lot of people are like, that, trade, trade, trade. And I respect that too. But that's for another video which would be basically trade or buy. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this coffee time video. This won't be the only video out today. I promise you that much. Yu-Gi-Oh! The Daily is next. Peace.